uh, from here in Arizona as well, Mesquite High School, um, to the 2021 PlayStation Festival 50th anniversary of the Fiesta Bowl. And Johnny, I don't know, before we open up for questions, if there's anything you'd like to say from the outset about returning home to Arizona, finishing out the season in a New Year's Six Bowl uh, for the second straight year, and just the opportunity for you to be able to play on the field of the PlayStation Fiesta Bowl. I'm just excited, man. It's excited to go back home, excited to play in this big time game and uh, ready to attack it. Great. Uh, as we look to open up for questions, first we'll start with James Krapier from the Oregonian. Johnny, have you made a decision in terms of your future after this? Uh, you do have the option for another year, but will this be the end for you uh, going home and, and this being the culmination of your career, or will you choose to come back next year? Um, I've had some thought going to it, but it hasn't really been on my uh, my main focus. I've kind of just been focusing on these games and, um, you know, playing my best football while I'm still here. So, you know, I haven't made that decision yet. AJ Jacobson from Rivals. I was just going to ask you what kind of what you've seen from Tyler Shuck the last couple of weeks of practice. You know, what kind of how's your connection been with him? Uh, great. You know, it's always been great. Um, he's putting in a lot of work. He's putting uh, he's put in a lot of work after practice. Uh, you know, whether that's meeting, whether that's doing extra drills, and he's working hard. Jordan Ham from Sports Three Hundred and Sixty Arizona. Hey Johnny, hope you're doing well. Um, how did Chandler prepare you for Pac-12 football and playing at a at a high rate over you know multiple years for Oregon now? I think they did a great job. Um, you know, practices are basically very similar to the way that we run practices here at Oregon with periods and the way we flex and different stuff. Um, I think outside of that too, in the weight room, they got me a, they got me ready for sure. And um, just the discipline, the way we met, the way we prepare for games there is kind of just the exact same way that we do in college. So that really got me ready. Zachary Martin from the Iowa State Daily. Yes, hi, Johnny. Good morning. Um, when you watch this Iowa State secondary on film, what's, uh, what's one thing that you notice that really stands out about the way that they've uh, played um, for all season long, 11 games going into 12 on Saturday? Uh, I think they're a real disciplined group. I think that's what helps them a lot. They play together. You know, it doesn't seem like they play with a lot of selfishness. And, um, you know, they kind of stick to their assignments and do what they have to do to help their team win the game. And um, it's going to be a good challenge for us. Matt Prem from 247. Yeah, Johnny, this Iowa State team plays a, a, different, a different defensive front than you guys have seen all year. Um, I realize you played a 3-3-5 three, three, against Nevada last year, but is there any kind of connection between those games? Or uh, I guess what's just the challenges of playing this defense and the front that they face? Um, they're, they're, they're a 3-3-5, three, three, so they run a lot of, like, drop eight and, you know, a lot of zone. And, you know, we're working on ways to defeat that. And, um, you know, we're putting together our best game plan and working hard to attack that defense. Go back to James Krapia for a follow-up question. John, I know you were part of the, the summer throwing sessions with Tyler. Um, I, talking to Coach Minucci, he said that you were part of it with Rock, too. Um, so <laughs> could you ever imagine that in the middle of the summer you were working with uh, two quarterbacks who not only you knew personally, but now you're going to be playing in a game against the other one, too? Uh, yeah, it's, it, it's interesting how it all plays out, man. But, you know, we were just getting work in, us Arizona boys. And, uh, you know, it, it was fun. But, you know, now it's time to compete. Now it's time to go to war. So I'm excited. Jordan Ham for a follow-up question. Yeah, Johnny, uh, you're a Chandler Wolf. Tyler is a Hamilton Husky. Have you kind of hung things over his head the the past couple of years? How how Chandler's kind of built that that dynasty? Uh, most definitely. Every opportunity I get uh, to talk about that is, you know, I'm always throwing it in his face because, you know, we as long as I was there, we never lost to them, and you know, we're still on top down in AZ. So I throw that in his face all the time. Not a surprise, I guess, for young young folks to to still have that pride. Uh, we'll go to AJ Jacobson. And I know, you know, obviously the Ducks recruit Arizona very, very heavily, and especially lately. During the recruiting process, now that you're a player here, do you ever get the opportunity to like you know, answer questions from recruits from Arizona and talk about how Oregon is, and how does that go? Um, pretty smoothly, you know, uh, as you see, we, we've had some Arizona dudes come through here and be successful and uh, make their way even to the NFL. So 
you know, um, I just kind of uh, let them know how cold it's going to be. The weather change, that's probably the biggest thing. But, you know, it, it's a good transition. You know, we do, we do things well here. So, you know, it, it's pretty exciting seeing more dudes come over the years. Okay, we're going to go to Max Torres from Scoop Duck. Johnny, you had a, a little bit of an unconventional route to, uh, to Oregon here. You know, when I was looking at you, you, you were committed to UNLV for a while. That Oregon offer came along and you, you know, switched things up. So uh, after, you know, starting at Oregon and uh, having it be a little bit choppy and then coming to now, uh, looking at your last game potentially, how, where have you seen your game develop the most? I think definitely route running. Um, me overall just becoming physically better whether that's getting bigger, stronger, and um, faster here. Um, I think my, my mental of the game, learning defenses and um, learning concepts and how all this work just universally, not just here, but in different places. Um, I think my knowledge of the game has just grown a lot. And, you know, I'm still on my way to get a lot better. I'm nowhere close to where I want to be. Sorry, Paul Shaw from AZ Big Media. Hey, Johnny. So your breakout season last year culminated with the Rose Bowl victory over a tough defense in Wisconsin in your second consecutive New Year's Six Bowl. What do you think last year's experience on such a big stage has done for your preparation for this year's experience here at the Fiesta Bowl? Um, I think you just, um, I think you know, you know, when, when big time games like this, not just big time games, but any game, you know, it's going to come down to every single play. Um, and like we talk about here, you know, it's gonna there's gonna be four or five games in, um, in a four or five plays in a game that are gonna determine the outcome at the end of the day. Um, and you never know when that play is gonna be, so you gotta take advantage of every snap. Um, every snap matters. So yeah, that's that's kind of my knowledge that I've grown from it. Matt Preem. This year, I'm sure has been taxing mentally, as just equally as it has been physically. Um, what, what's just been the overwhelming positive for you this season and, and being able to play this, this game? Um, just at the end of the day, getting better, um, playing this game that I've been playing since I was a kid and, um, you know, just out here having fun and being able to do what I, I, I love to do because, you know, there's a lot of people in the country, you know, around the world that aren't allowed to with, uh, do what they want to do because of this, uh, because of this pandemic. So um, I just take it as a blessing every day and keep moving forward. Go back to Zachary Martin from the Iowa State Daily. Johnny, can you put into words the roller coaster of emotions this team has had in the last three weeks of being a COVID replacement for Washington in the Pac-12 title game, beat USC, and now you're ready to play a top ten opponent in Iowa State? Just, just describe the last three weeks in general for this team. Man, it's been a lot. Of, uh, a lot of ups and downs. I mean, I'm, we've been kind of in, in the position where we, you know. We didn't play good enough, you know, taking them two losses. And, you know, that kind of put us in a boat where we're, we're not in the hands of our future. Um, and then when they said we weren't playing in the championship, it was, it was a big downer. But we were going to go hard regardless. But, you know, when, when they announced that we were going to the game, um, you know, it was exciting for all of us because we were, you know, we got the chance to get the the back-to-back -back championship. So, you know, that was exciting. And now we're just excited for this even bigger step um, going to this Fiesta Bowl. Max Torres, follow-up question. Johnny, uh, one uh, interesting hire we saw this offseason was your position coach, Brian McClendon. What, what have you kind of seen from him? What has he brought to the program? And what's your relationship like with him? My relationship is great with him. Um, you know, since day one, he came in and, and put us to work and set the tone. And, you know, he's brought, he's brought a lot of, I would say he, he's polished the room a lot in different ways, whether that's the culture of the room, um, our route running, our ability, you know, what we work on every day. Um, us catching the ball, you know, different things. He's just, he's brought a lot to this, not only our room, but to this, to this team in particular. So, you know, I'm excited to be with him. Matt Prem, I see your hands raised. I believe he's his new question. If so, please go ahead. Yeah, Mario has always talked about elevating the standard at Oregon. Um, Verone McKinley a couple of days ago brought up how the standard at Oregon is playing in these types of bowl games and being as someone who showed up in 2017 with a new coach and, multiple coaching changes since then and just in your time at Oregon how has the standard changed uh, for, for this program um I don't know if the standard has 
changed. I think we've always had that goal, but actually I'll, I'll say the standard has changed because, you know, you know, we, we try to get better and, you know, the, at the end of the day, the standard is unachievable. You know, what we want to be, the culture that we want to have is, is unachievable because we're always reaching to, to go, to get better and better and, 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 and go higher and higher. So, um, you know, just continue to elevate. Um, it, it just kept moving from where we were before. So I think it's just going to continue to get better and keep going. Josh Shelton from KDRV. Johnny, you've played in a, a few bowl games in your career. What's it going to take to win this one? And what's it take in general just to come out and perform in a bowl game? Um, coming out, firing, you know, uh, excited and, you know, putting everything into every snap. And, um, you know, keeping your foot on the gas, not letting up, not getting comfortable, you know. Um, and at the end of the day, it's going to come down to every play. And, uh, you know, everybody has ability, but uh, it's really going to come down to whose will is going to break first. So, you know, we got to take the will out of them. James Krapier. Johnny, just to go back to the original question, I can respect that you haven't uh, decided yet, but what will go into your decision about next season? And uh, have you asked, uh, have you filled out the NFL paperwork? Ordinarily, that's for juniors, but I suppose you could probably do it again since you have another year. Um, but what, what will the factors be uh, in the decision-making process for you? Um, you know, I got to talk to different people, um, kind of see just where I am. And, um, you know, it's not, it's not just about where, you know, I'm, where I'm, where I'm going in the draft. Um, there's also stuff that I wanted to do here there, you know, there's, 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 um, there's, there's goals I wanted to meet. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of things that go into it. Uh, you know, I haven't really thought about it, but you know, time will come. We'll find out. Warren Williamson. Johnny, kind of along that same line that James just asked, how disappointing is it for you if this is your last game to not have that full week, uh, full game experience of being in Arizona for the entire week? Can you repeat that? I'm sorry. So I'm just curious um, if this is your last game. And with COVID and the pandemic, you don't get to enjoy the, the full experience of a regular bowl game like we did last year in, in, in Los Angeles. Is it disappointing as a player not to have that full game, full bowl game experience? Um, yeah, I mean, there's, it's, it's some of a downer, you know. Um, you know, that's, that's what comes with it. But um, this year has just been full of twists and turns. So, you know, at the end of the day, I'm here to play the game. I'm here to win the football game. So that's what's most important to me. So I'll be fine. I'll do one last sweep for questions for Johnny. But while that's happening, Johnny, just what's your – emotion going to be like and kind of your five senses as you walk through the tunnel at the stadium as you take the field for the PlayStation Fiesta Bowl, um, you know, on Saturday afternoon. I'm sure it's going to be a little different than even going into Austin or anybody else. It's going to be exciting. I mean, um, there's going to be some fans, so that might be a, that might be a little bit, might be a little bit more energy in the building. Um, you know, it's just exciting though, regardless um, if I'll be back or not next year. I mean, this is the last game for the 2020 Ducks, so you know, I'm excited to, to end it the right way. Great. And with that, Johnny, I think you've uh, satisfied all of our media friends with your answers to the questions. Thank you very much for your time. Congratulations on a, on a good and different season and look forward to having you on the field here on Saturday afternoon uh, back in your hometown and being able to visit with your, your friends and family and, and eat some of that Arizona food. I didn't ask you what you're what dish you're, you're most looking forward to having when you get back home. You can share that if you want, but uh, I'm, I'm sure there's plenty. Um, definitely, you know, just some good fried chicken. That's really like what, I, what, I've, been, what I've been waiting for. So, you know, grandma, have the, grandma and, uh, and moms will have that ready for me when I get back. Well, congratulations again look, and look forward to that. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you Appreciate for your time.